as I talked about previously, this is the, um, I don't know if it's Teflon or whether it's silicone, but basically when you get acrylic pores and all the runoffs can be saved into skins. See? All you do is just put them to one side and do what you want with them. Just hand over little small projects or something. A bit fiddly when you get dots all over the place and yeah, not quite as easy to pull off. But yeah, that's not what you do. That's with this stuff. Here's a quick tip. You know when you get to the end of the bottle and you put some water in and shake it up to get all the bits out? Well, if you do that, this could happen. All the bits of the dried paint, what's inside the bottle. Now, you could either just don't do it, just don't scrape the bottom of the, um, well, don't shake it out to get the last dregs out. You've got to either throw it away or you need to be using something like this. It's like a, a tea strainer. So I'm, I've already done it, as I said, into this cup. Now it's into this cup. And that is completely smooth now. So top tip for you to avoid getting all the lumps and bumps on your paint. So you get the bottles washed and cleaned. What you do then, all your paint, what's left over, you just put them in these bottles. Just shows that these are not the proper ones. But yeah, that way paint will stay fresh. And these are already silicone in them. So it's, it's great.